It's time for Real Trash. Real Trash. This won't be political at all. Just a breezy little how-to about sailing knots. Victory Squad. That's what we called our frat brothers who made it through the Oktoberfest night without puking. Truly so victorious. You could wet yourself and still qualify. I think we've heard enough. Ronald Reagan, star of She's Working Her Way Through College? I don't think that's what he's most known for. I, I know. He was also in The Voice of the Turtle. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Fellow Republicans, hello. Starring John Wayne as I'm Ronald glad Reagan. i to be able to talk to you folks today about the coming election. I'm sure we all agree on our candidate. Couldn't have a better one. Sure, he has no now name, but we're working on that. Sure that he gets elected. You know, elections are funny things. You look at the total vote, it doesn't mean much. Hi, I'm when John Wayne for Existential all Despair. All the individual people that it takes to make up that vote that comes home to you. It's like that bay out there. It's a pretty big body of water. Like me. But it's just a lot of drops put together. And that's what an election is. So besides voting ourselves, if each one of us will see to it that the whole Republican vote gets to the poll. John, you want to do this syllable by syllable? Seems like you're struggling. Uh, Craft services, get that man an iron lung. Pretty good showing by doing just that. Uh, Two years ago, we made a successful film explaining our time-proven method for getting out the vote. It was called The The Beast of Yucca Flats. We might have buried the message a bit. We'll show you how the Republican victory squad, as we call it, works. He graduated from precinct work. He is now our candidate for governor, my good friend, Ronald Reagan. Well, thank you, Mommy. I I mean, Johnny. This is a Victory Squad headquarters, one of many that are in operation throughout the county. It doesn't look like much at the moment. But add a dorm fridge and a foosball table, and folks, you you got heaven on earth. And me. The people who volunteer for the Victory Squad go out on election day and ask each and every registered Republican to go to the polls and vote. These ladies Once stayed in and typed instead, damn them. Prepare special lists of every single registered Republican in the county so that the work of the Victory Squad can go off without a hitch. A prop computer from the Lost in Space helps greatly. Beep, boop. All the really hard, tedious work is done ahead of time so that you can go out to the precincts, meet the people, Republicans who think and believe as you do, and get them down to vote. Nets and stun guns will be provided. In 1960, Nixon lost to Kennedy by 118,000 votes in the entire country. Every one of them a deceased member of Mayor Richard Daley's family. (laughs) ...who stayed home from the polls that day. The Democrats did it. They got their people out and to the polls. Well, let's take a leaf from their book. Well, a page might be better, what with having stuff written on it and all. It's been proved since the ballot box was invented. It made the difference in the 1960 presidential election. It's still true today. Looks like he's distracted by a bee flying around the room. Ronnie, focus, come on! Paper advertising the electioneering gimmicks. There is no substitute for down-to-earth, house-to-house, person-to-person contact. And yes, we do mean sexual contact. Let's meet one of the volunteers. I'm John Bennett. I've got a wife and two children, a job I like, and... Frankly, not much time for anything else. So, goodbye. I've always considered <laughs> Hi, myself a good Republican, but I've never really been able to do much about it except vote, write a letter to my congressman once in a while, make a contribution, and gripe about the way things are going. I'm pretty good at that. And it's sending cat poop to politicians, politicians I don't like. About the way the Great at that. My money, about all the things I know the Republicans can do better. So I decided that I don't have the right to complain unless I really try to do something about it. Which made me complain even John more. I'm trapped in a vicious cycle. That there was an organization set up for people just like him. People who want to contribute but don't have much time. The Victory Squad. Formerly the Hat Squad. All he had to do was give six hours of time. Six hours on election day. That's not much for the big reward. A Victory Squad sticker. Volunteers report on election day at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and join with the regular precinct workers who've been working all year long. 
This gives them six hours before the polls close to find Republicans who haven't voted. The sign looks a bit tentative, like it should have a question mark after victory. (laughs) Well, this is it. Same place you saw at the beginning, but with that extra added important ingredient. Gerrymandering. People. Oh. Here's John, feeling a bit lost at first. Eh? Uh, That's Mr. Hewitt. He's a high school principal playing hooky for the afternoon. This nice woman, Mrs. Duffy. And this is Silas Johnson. He owns an oil company. He just drank John's milkshake. They're all on the victory squad. This is the assigner. His flop sweat already quite evident. He's a shiny lad. Ah, lucky man. Your teammate is Mary Myers. I call her the Hoover. Her father campaigned for Herbert Hoover. Each team gets to choose which precinct they'd like to work in. Mary has chosen a part of the city she doesn't know well. That's a good idea. That's one of the enjoyable aspects of this job. You get to meet new people in neighborhoods you've never stopped to look at before. What? Oh, I bet there's lots of Republicans there. (laughs) The basis for the entire operation and the result of all the automation and preparation you saw before. The names of all the Republicans in a precinct are listed in numerical order by amount of of taxes dodged. So that a volunteer doesn't search in the precinct for each particular voter by name, but finds him by house number. Now for the briefing. I wish presidents Our narrated all our shorts. The the now here's Henry Slinkman buying oysters again. Rose Beef, what do you think we are, a millionaires? Shake vote. hands with danger. Only oh. on people who that, already that was Millard Fillmore. Oh, obviously. It sounded just like him. Republicans who haven't voted yet. The dispatcher makes sure that everyone knows how to get where he's going and by the quickest route. They're off. To an hourly rate motel. First stop the polling place in the precinct where they'll work. Now you've all seen the big list that hangs outside the polling places. The names of all those citizens who have already voted are crossed off every hour by the election officials. It's as simple as that for John and Mary to find out which Republicans haven't voted. And pay homeless guys to impersonate them. The first hurdle is the hardest. You got my ludes? Uh, Easy as that. This lady's waiting for her husband to take her when he comes home from work. Take her? Mary makes a note that she may have to return later to check. Seems untrustworthy, possible communist. John has hit pay dirt on his first try. Here's a young mother who can't get a babysitter for her children. Just the sort of problem the Victory Squad is designed for. John will call headquarters and have a volunteer babysitter sent out within an hour. But do not get used to free child care. Now that's a vote the Republicans wouldn't have if it hadn't been for John. Nice assigning, Bonjo. How we doing, Ed? I guess you know we can always use more help. I just gave Jim Davis and his wife a big Republican precinct. The Garfield guy? the coffee when the polls close, Jim. Jim's an old hand. He got two extra votes in his precinct the last time. Lyman and Nermal. You stop to realize a large <laughs> number of precincts was. in our county, well, you can see that two extra votes in each precinct could win an election. Here's a man who's telephoned from Republican headquarters. Just wearing a tie at home like a normal call guy. wasn't enough. He figures, what's one vote, more or less? Who'll know the difference? Besides, he's got a lot to do. But there's something about meeting this man face to face that makes an apathetic voter get out and down to the polls. Uh, plus, Mary threatened there were his 15 dog. 15 million voters in the United States like him in the last election. People who, because of inconvenience or indifference, did not vote. When no one answers the bell, they leave doorknob hangers as reminders to vote. Promises a free mayonnaise salad with every completed ballot. It'll be a race Ooh. against the clock. It's like depressing adult Halloween. With only a half an hour until the polls close, John meets a Republican who has no way of getting to the polls. He and Mary do the only thing they can. Take him. This could be a deciding vote. I need my medicine. Not until you vote, you fossil. Well, the polls are closed. But six hours really flew by. We'll know the results soon. Ooh, nice can, John. They're John and Mary. They have every right to be pleased with themselves. They got three extra Republican votes in one precinct. That cost $60,000. you know by how little the Democrats won the plurality in 1960? By less than one vote, a precinct. That's what the Victory Squad is designed to do. Get out that one or two extra votes, 
that makes the difference. Then drink half a glass of wine and get crunk to Glenn Miller. Is a small change, not a large one. Now I'd like to leave you with these words of Winston Churchill. Noted American and Republican. The destiny of mankind is not decided by material computation. When great causes are on the move in the world, we learn that we're spirits, not animals. And that something is going on in space and time and beyond space and time, which, whether we like it or not, spells duty. Churchill was high when he said that. Well, there you have it. Now it's up to us. If you'll sign up for the Victory Squad on one of these cards... You won't die on the set of The Conqueror. What I hope is... (laughs) An exciting and rewarding job. So put your name down now and help make our candidate the next governor of California. See you on election day. Donate to us once so we can email you 30 times a day until the end of time. Remember, the Democrats want to take away our beloved unreadable fonts. It's time for real Copyright by Rift Tracks, all rights reserved.